Ladies British Open week and we are going to talk about iron fitting for lady golfers with PGA professional Rob Emery. So if you like our content and you're enjoying our videos, please make sure you subscribe. So Rob, it's perfect time to talk about it. British Ladies Open week uh, down at Walton Heath this year uh, and Ping wonderfully have just released the GLE3 model which is fantastic so we're gonna have a little look at that but when ladies come in and have a, a club fitting again there's a lot of misconceptions that you know ping have built this iron and, and many other manufacturers have built a ladies iron is that where ladies should stop just at ladies irons it's all about how they swing so club head speed that they're generating um what's the main difference between a ladies you know we use the GLE3 as an example. Yep. We've, we've got the G430 in, in Ping, they're, they're kind of 2023 product, yep. and you've bought this out. So you put these two heads side by side, yep. what's actually the difference? So the weight of the shaft is quite a bit lighter, and the head as well has been specifically designed for that shaft. So it just means that they're generalizing a little bit and saying that the ladies would swing slower. Yeah. Therefore, a little bit lighter shaft, a little bit more kick is going to help pop that ball up in the air. Mm -hmm. Having said that, if someone comes in and they're swinging it quite quick, then quite often we've jumped into the men's version, whether that be soft regular or regular. If that's still giving the desired result, then that's the way to, that's the way to go. Oh, um, one of the things I think Ping have done this year with this iron, and it's not been out long, but is that they've made it neutral colours, what I'd call mm. neutral colours, so yeah. anyone can play with it. Because yeah. the worry for me sometimes is they bring an iron out of this and they pigeonhole it into this must be a laser iron, but yeah. actually, junior golfers could use this, yeah, it's to light enough. Totally, yeah. um, senior golfers, senior yeah. male golfers could use yeah. this. So it actually has a whole use, and, and we, for me, we need to make sure that we're getting away from this pigeonhole of clubs yeah. and getting into the nitty gritty of the data to say, do you know what? Yeah. There's all these shafts, there's all the heads in the drawers, there's all these brands out there. What do you want from the golf golf shop? Yeah. What are you looking for your ball flight? And how, which one of these products and which combination of these products really finds the ball flight and the yardage and the, the, the whatever it is you're looking for, which is where we're going? Yeah, yeah, I think it's, it, for me, that that is, uh, I was a bugbear, but it, it's you get as you say pigeonholed into ladies clubs, and and uh, there will be ladies that will love a ladies, the thought of the ladies range, mm. um, and Ping do that, have done that over the years very very well, and I think like it's a great looking year, eye. it looks so much more neutral, mm. but um, yeah, just offers something a little bit different than their G four thirty range. Um, as you said, like a little bit lighter for that junior golfer, for that senior golfer, um, that maybe don't quite generate the club head speed. Um, they offer two different shafts in uh, the GLE, so the light and the ultra light. Mm -hmm. So even if you've got a fairly youngish junior, they can still, you know, they're still light enough to give it a good, good whack down the down the middle. So what, one of my bugbears, you talked about one of yours, or mm. I talked about one of mine, which is. Quite often, lady golfers, specifically lady golfers, seem to have too many clubs in their bag. <laughs> yeah. Is that something you're seeing? Uh, yes, yeah, I would, I would say so. I think, um, again, probably maybe not so much uh, ladies specifically, but certainly people that, that don't generate enough club head speed, so, or don't or generate a low amount of club head speed, I should say. Um, by doing that, the, the distances between each club becomes less. Mm -hmm. So the harder you hit it, those distances increase. So when you get the lights of Rory and uh, John Rahm that, that smash it really hard, the distances between their clubs become that much greater. So with that, it does mean that the amount of irons in the set are less. Uh, it can mean the amount of woods become a little bit greater because trying to get that extra distance. Um, but again, when, when we do fittings, this is all part of the fitting process. So we don't just look at getting the right club and the right setup of that club. We look at making sure that the set works as a as a, as a whole, as a unit. Yeah. yeah. 
Um, there's no point in having two or three clubs in the bag that, that do the same job. It's yeah. just, just wasting your money. So, you know, if, if you have a set of clubs in your bag that each one has a role, then, then that's what we make sure of as well. So the driver does it what it needs to, the fairway woods, the hybrids, the, the, the irons, the wedges, obviously the flat stick as well. So. And, and what would you say to, uh, and again, we, over a, a week and a month, we have a higher percentage of fittings in the diary that you see are, are male versus female. Yep. Do we think that's just because that's the split of golfers or is that maybe because sometimes ladies don't feel confident or comfortable coming into a fitting, maybe feel a bit nervous? I've seen it over the years that they, <coughs> you know, it can take a while for, for a, yeah. a lady golfer to feel comfortable in the mat, hitting balls in front of people, being measured and all the rest of it. Is that something that... Yeah, totally. Yeah, I think it's disproportionate to, to the amount of men, to, to, to the amount of ladies that would come in. And, and I think, yeah, you, you sort of nailed it, really. I think there's, it's not just one reason. I think it, it's a multi multiple reasons really um, one thing that I probably get saying I know you brought it up in different videos is that don't feel they're good enough to have a clock fitting yeah. um, which is and how early would you you know if you're a new golfer if you're a new yep. lady golfer to the game yep. you might have played for three months you might have had some lessons maybe some group lessons had yep. some lessons yep. played golf you know, maybe yep. par three or played around yep. with your friends yep. at what point you know, you're a, you're a golf coach as well, so you know, you put both yeah, hats on. Yeah, yeah. Um, at what point should a lady golfer get fitted? For me, I, as as a coach, I would always want my pupils to turn up with clubs that are working for them, right. not them trying to make the club work. Not manipulating it. Exactly, right. and and if the club's too heavy, too light, too long, too short. Um, then you're not swinging as you need to be swinging. So for me, it can influence technique. Is yeah, what you're totally. Yeah, and and for me, it's get get the as long as you've got a set of clubs that are suited for you, then that's where you can really work on your game and you can really push forward in what you do. Um, but as we said, you know, you don't need every single club in that bag. So quite often, I've done a few sets where we've only done three or four irons in a set. Mm. Um, that gets them started and then we add to it as they get more confident. It might be something to tee off with, something for the longer shots on the fairway, then irons into the greens and, yeah. and, and you're covered as a, as a beginner, that's what you're covered as. And we can still do that as a fitting. It's, I think sometimes people think that when you're doing a fitting, it's like everything, all the irons and all the woods, but sometimes just a few clubs are really gonna help you get yourself started. And then as you progress more, you'll start seeing gaps in, in your, in your shots, that you just haven't got a club that hits that distance, and then that's where you start to add more and more to it as, you, as you play more. Yeah, it's definitely, I think, the confidence thing to, to make sure that we, we as a, an industry, mm. um, as golf coaches, as an industry, that we really encourage lady golfers to, to come in and have a fitting and have that experience of just spending a bit of time investing in your equipment, understanding that there's not just one iron or two irons available to you. Actually, there's equal, if you, if you have the speed, there's as many irons as there is yep. for the men. There, yep. You know, there's absolutely that choice. Yep. Um, but to actually get the right length, to get the right lie angle, to get the right grip size, to make sure, you know, because again, instinctively, these brands put a very thin grip yep. on their clubs. And, yep. and some, some ladies might not like the feel, feel of that. They might have longer fingers. So actually having that, being able to influence every part of the club to actually make it perform yep. is really, really important. And I, and I really like what you just said there about the fact that we would encourage, <coughs> you know, we're not going to want to change all the clubs from the get-go. So you could build a, set, a, build a bag up, yep. if you like, over a period of three, four, five months when you get comfortable knowing what you need. Um, but the essence there is, I think, is what we're saying is that, that ladies' club fitting should be absolutely no different than men. You shouldn't pin you, pigeonhole yourself into yeah. ladies' ranges of club, as, as pretty and as nice as they may look. Yeah, yeah. You don't need to do that. Realistically, you want to come in with the same objectives as every other golfer comes yeah. in with, which is, I'm looking for more height, more distance, I want to hit it straighter. Whatever the, the, the thing yeah. is that want, you want to change, um, and make sure that you spend that time 
to get a good fitting. Yep, totally. Is that fair? Yep, totally. Yep. So there we go, ladies. We want to encourage you to come and have a club fitting. We want to make sure that you understand that there's loads and loads of choice. It's not just these, fan oh, these are fantastic. There's not just the selective ladies models in each range. There's a whole choice. And when you have a great fitting, it'll be based on the numbers that you're producing through your swing and at impact to produce the ball flight that you're after.